Good morning, everybody. The, the glare kind of sucks this morning. The sun's shining in on the shop. But uh, what we've got, I'm going to start stripping all the paint off these doors. I decided to go ahead and just take them all the way back down to bare metal or to bare wood, I mean. Uh, so you can kind of see I've got the door laid up here. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to start with 40 grit paper with a random orbital sander. I had to buy a new sander because the darn pad on my on all my old ones was worn out and the paper uh, wasn't really sticking to it. It was wanting to fly off. But uh, what I want to do on this is sand everything uh, down to bare wood on all my flats. And then you can kind of see on all my angle parts and my OG curves and stuff like that, we're going to use a paste stripper on it just because trying to sand that down by hand is just a nightmare. So come along, I'm going to start sanding on this. Uh, I got a fan set up to blow everything, all my dust and stuff like that out. So uh, that's what I'm going to get started on. All right, guys. Uh, plan A was kind of a bust. You can see I got from right here to right here in probably 15 minutes on sanding it, even with uh, 40 grit uh, paint eater sandpaper. Uh, we're going to go back with plan B, or we'll start with plan B. We're going to chemical strip everything. Uh, let me get this down here. Chemical strip. Uh, this is just a stripper that you can buy at Lowe's. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and brush it on, let it set. This says it's 15 minutes, something like that. I went ahead. You can see on the floor. Went ahead and put down plastic just so it doesn't get all over the floor when we're stripping it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start brushing some of this on and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, all I did, I've got uh, just one of these cheap uh, chip brushes you can pick up for a couple bucks. Uh, got one of those, pour some of your stripper out uh, and just brush it on liberally. Uh, it hadn't even been 15 minutes yet and some of this is starting to go ahead and peel up. Uh, there's several layers of paint on this, so uh, it's probably going to take multiple times. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it set for just a little bit. And uh, when it starts to do its thing, we'll get a scraper out and start scraping it down.
Hey guys, it's Jason. Uh, we're still working on these stupid doors. Uh, oh, did I say that? Awesome doors that we're working on. Uh, we got about, we got all our flats stripped and sanded. I did a combination of uh, wood stripper and uh, sanding on it. The only thing we got left is like our profiles. We're not going to take the profiles all the way down to bare wood. It's just the juice is not worth the squeeze on that. So uh, what we're gonna do right now this spot right here, let me see if I can get the camera down. That spot right there is uh, something's eating away at it. So what I'm gonna do is take and break any of the loose wood, probably cut a little bit of it, uh, get it, get it cleaned up nice. And then uh, I'm gonna use Bondo to fill it. Uh, Bondo works great, it sets up fast, it'll stick to wood and get super hard. I can use Bondo on this because the doors are going to wind up being painted. If they're going to be stained, uh, if we're going to stain these doors, I would probably have to cut out a piece and uh, put a new piece in. But like I said, these are going to be painted, so the Bondo will paint over and sand just fine. So let me get a little bit of this cut out, set up, and we'll start mixing some Bondo and putting it in. All right, what we got, I went ahead and dug out until we had solid wood. Uh, and then I came in, I just took a scrap piece of wood, screwed it on here. That'll help me keep my perfect edge on there. Uh, so now we're going to mix a Bondo. If you never mix Bondo, it's pretty easy. It's a two-part deal. You'll scoop out your first part. I forgot how awesome this stuff smells. Then you've got your hardener. So what you do, essentially, you scoop your first part out, squirt your hardener in, and then start mixing. And this says it's sandable in 15 minutes. I just got a scrap piece of cardboard and a little scrap chunk of wood to mix everything up. Because when I'm done, I'm just gonna chuck all this. You just want to mix it up till it gets to be a nice blue consistency and your hardener's mixed all the way in. All right, everything's mixed in. You kind of got to work quick on this because it is a chemical reaction. What I'm doing is kind of rodding it in to make sure it gets in all the good spots. There's all the little cracks and crevices. Make sure you really push it down in there so it'll get to all the places. Now I'm gonna take, this is just a four inch drywall knife. We're gonna take it and use it to really And I'm overfilling this because I just want to run one coat on it.
All right, guys, there you go. She is filled and ready to go. 15 minute sand time is supposed to, is supposed to be what it's gonna be for. There's gonna be auto body guys that say, holy shit, this guy screwed this up. But you know what? Sander's your friend. I would rather overfill it and have to sand all of it down nice and flush than fill it twice. So now what I've got left on these doors while we're waiting, while we're waiting for uh, this Bondo to dry, all my little detail stuff, I've got a detail sander. Uh, I'll show you it here in a minute, but we're going to get it out and start sanding uh, all that down. All right, guys, uh, Bondo set. Uh, I let it sit about 30 minutes. I was doing something else, but uh, it is set and sanded down smooth. I sanded it with 60 grit. I've still got to go over these doors. We'll probably, we'll probably hit it with uh, 80 and then 120 and be done, but uh, it's just now sanded with uh, 60 grit, but you can see what it turned out to be. I mean, the thing is just smooth and flush as can be, and it'll get even smoother as uh, I sand more on it with the uh, finer grits. But I gotta do a little bit of detail sanding on uh, around the windows and everything. But this is a sander I'm using. It's a surf coat sander. Uh, I'm not paid, promoted, anything from that. But uh, the cool thing about this sander is it's got foam pads that you can put on it. And uh, it's hard to see, but these are foam pads and they will mold around uh, trim and uh, curves and stuff like that. And they got different grits and stuff like that, but it contours to the curves and stuff like that. So it eliminates a lot of the hand sanding, which is awesome. Uh, I actually bought this a couple years ago for, uh, we were doing a lot of kitchen cabinets and uh, I use it for kitchen cabinets all the time. But uh, we're going to start sanding these, and I'll kind of show you what they look like once they get sanded out. All right, guys, we got the doors all sanded down as much as we're going to sand them. We didn't want them to look perfect. We wanted them still to look old, uh, so it didn't take a ton of time. It took a little bit of time, but not forever and a day. But uh, I've got them sanded, ready to go. You can kind of see what they look like. Yes, there's still some paint on there, but uh, that's kind of the way it's going to stay. Uh, let me take you over here and I can show you the other one. That's the way it's going to stay. Because uh, what we're going to do next, we decided that what we're going to do is uh, put a stain on these and then paint them a matte, uh, a matte to a flat black and then antique it a little bit. Just sand off some spots here and there like your wear areas and uh, then hang those. But the next step you'll see in the next video is staining, painting, and installing these things. I hope y'all like everything. Like and subscribe and share it out. Y'all have a good day.